Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am going to do another reading for 1111 because, you know, I picked up this deck last night and I don't know, I just feel like I need to use this deck. So that's what we're going to do. And these are going to be all upright. Okay. Doesn't matter. The message is still going to come. All right. I want to hear any stupid comments below about you didn't do reverse. Well, that's my prerogative. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Yikes! I mean, what more can I say? I mean, what more can I say? If that is not a message, I don't know what is. You saw him fly out. There is a death. The end. The end of one life that you once knew. It is 11-11. I knew that I needed to use this deck. And I should have just used it this morning for my first reading. There's been a battle. And it's funny because last night, and it was about, well... I don't even know, I could, maybe 11, I don't know what time it was, after 11, I picked up this deck to show it to my friend that was here. And I said, you know, I want to see the Ten of Swords in this deck. I hadn't used this deck in so long, and we're going to make a deck. I'm going to make a new deck. I'm going to make it, I am going to design a deck. So I've got all kinds of ideas. And I said, well, I'm going to go look at the Ten of Swords in this deck, and that's why I pulled out this deck. So last night, I was thinking about the Ten of Swords at like 11, I don't know what time it was, but the last time I looked at the clock, it was like 11 something. And uh, I pulled this card out. You guys just saw it flip out. There's been a battle. And there's been bloodshed. And there's been hurt. And there's been pain. And now it's over. It's time for this pain and this battle and this hurt to be done. These are both deaths. They are. There's an opportunity to begin again. There is. With endings bring new beginnings. It's a time of transformation. It's time to let go of the old and bring in the new. It's time to step out of this battlefield. And release. It's a time of transition. It is 11-11. The end. The end of, of strife. The end of struggle. The end of hurt. Somebody is heading in a new direction. They're finding their confidence. To progress forward. Away from this battle. Taking their power. A 
asserting themselves in a new direction. Being honest, I'm ready to speak up and do what's right for me. Somebody is making a decision to be happy. There's going to be a celebration of this death. Okay, there is. There always is, right? Usually. There's a celebration. Where you get recognized or they get recognized or whatever happened gets recognized. This is recognition, the Six of Wands, it is. For all the struggles they've been through. So... Realize that the struggles that you have been through haven't gone unseen. Your perseverance hasn't gone unseen. You've gained respect through those struggles, okay? You have. There is absolutely going to be a celebration of this completion. Happiness is coming. Endings bring new beginnings. They bring growth. This is a celebration. Page of Cups. I'm getting the goosebumps. Eight of Cups. The Hermit and the Six of Cups. Woo! So, um, yeah. Remember, I said endings bring new beginnings. Somebody is moving to a better place. Congratulations. And there's going to be a lot of happiness, bliss, growth, success. And it's like, it's going to fulfill you. It's going to be a new beginning, okay? Well, I just said that, right? There's going to be a new beginning of love. It's going to be welcomed, okay? It's like all of a sudden you're going to receive this ending brings about a new opportunity for love that is going to be so, oh, it's going to make you feel so good because you got to think about the beginning of love at the very beginning because this is the very beginning of love it's like when you first meet somebody and them and you start to feel those butterflies and it's like all of a sudden there's going to be this this instant amount of fulfillment because you let the struggle is over the struggle is over and all of a sudden the peace and the love and the joy and the happiness is like oh you know, when you finally, when you meet somebody, you're like, oh my God, that kind of thing. It's like, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so good. So it's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of the struggle. It's the, it's the, it's the pure death of what was, which leads to a celebration, a celebration of your new life. It looks as though somebody is deciding to walk away, to face their fears. Because at this time, all they want is success in love. 
and happiness. Somebody took a lot of time to think about this. They went and they had no choice, right? When you're dealing with this struggle and you're dealing with this pain, it is going to bring about a shitload of thoughts and feelings that need to be dealt with. And somebody has has taken a lot of time to think about following the light. And when, when something dies, at the end there is light. And now they have made the, the decision to follow the light to their happiness. And then, and, and you see, this is a baby. It's a, and there, there's, there, there's a rebirth. It's like being born again. But this is not something little. This is big. So don't think it's something little. This is big. What you once were, once what you once knew, the struggle, the betrayal, the defeat, the battle that you have been in is over. And you've succeeded. You you have succeeded. Job well done. Now, it's time to go out and celebrate. These are both celebrations, both of these cards. This celebration that you're about to go through, or go to, or whatever, may reunite you with somebody from your past. And I have to clarify somebody from your past because we get these fools that think somebody from your past is the ex they broke up with. Well, I'm sorry to pop your bubble. It could be. It could be. But somebody from your past could be somebody that you least expect. Could be somebody, you know, it could be anybody, could be an acquaintance, could be somebody you met anywhere at any time in your life. This lifetime or a different one. But there's a damn good chance reunion with somebody from your past. Don't get all caught up with thinking you know who it is. Because there's a good chance you don't. There's an element of mystery in death. You don't ever know what's on the other side. You have to have trust and faith that you're going to go in that direction and believe that you're going to get what you're supposed to get. And it may not be what you think, what you thought. Okay, it may not be. It probably isn't. So, somebody is going through a transformation, a major transformation that is cause for celebration. And there's going to be a message of love that comes in that leads you towards a lot of happiness, perhaps even a new commitment with a soulmate that you've known before.
that's what I see. Endings bring new beginnings. Be prepared to reunite with happiness. Extreme happiness. Should we get an oracle card? This one's kind of scary. I guess we will. We have to use this one because we just do. Whew. Yeah, there's going to be a welcome, a welcome change here. And this is not a little death, okay? This is a big death. So don't get, don't, this is big. Big. The very first two cards, it's big. You know, it's the, the end of a, end of a phase. This one just fell out and went down like this. View from above and, I mean, come on now, what the hell? View from above. Get the big picture. This is big. Big, 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 big change. Transformation isn't little. And the death card is transformation. Somebody is going through a huge change that is going to lead them to extreme bliss and happiness with somebody that they have known before, and that is no joke. And there's a lot of memories that are going to come up with this death. Memories from your childhood even, because as you are releasing, when I mean, it's that big, when you're releasing, yes, there's memories that are going to have to be released. View from above. Get the big picture. Don't get bogged down in details. Let go of petty concerns. Get the big picture. Imagine that you're seeing life from above. Oh my God. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. Make major life decisions based on this strategy. Let go of what no longer serves you. It's easy to forget what the overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival. Somebody has been in survivor mode. And the ups and downs of life on the road. It's only when the traveler takes time to look at the big picture that he realizes that most worries and anxieties are only temporary. Imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself if what you are doing now will be important to you in your future. Focusing on these concerns takes up valuable life force energy. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life. Let everything else drop away. So, we have an opportunity for a new beginning here. As something else dies, the struggle is over. And it is a reason to celebrate. And I will get a comment below that says, It's not reason to celebrate when you're feeling pain. Well, at the end of it, it is. Use your head. It's about your perception. The Queen of Swords is about perception, how you perceive it. If you perceive it to be negative, well, then it will be. It's all about your thoughts. This is positive, believe it or not. We have a major new beginning here that is happening because the old is dead. And it's time. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to receive the companionship and the love and the happiness and the support that you deserve. And if walking away from something that doesn't serve you is going to bring you that happiness, then that's exactly what you need to do. And that's what's going to happen by the looks of things. We have the death of something. 
and this death is going to bring about a celebration and that's the way it is get the big picture good luck